Alrighty guys, welcome back to some more Ghost of Tsushima, where we left off, uh, we just, what did we do? I was making my way to the Broken Blacksmith quest here, and have now, ooh, what's this popped up? The Legend of Tadayori. Someone is rallying the survivor's spirits at a camp, could be worth a look. Ooh, I get armor? Cool. Well, yeah, I guess looking at the map is a good way to tell you guys what I've done without being on the camera. Uh, I've learned a new stance. I learned the water stance, which is pretty cool. It's very useful against uh, shield shield bearing enemies. Uh, have done the straw hat mission. So I have the straw hat Ronin armor, which actually looks like a very nice kimono. It's kind of weird. Um, I haven't done any of the. Uh, the mythic tales yet i want to save that for you guys but um i took over this logging base camp here which actually took me quite a few tries it was very annoying and yeah just some other small things like that just did some exploration found a few more fox dens and found a pillar of hope and i got these pretty good dope pair of dope looking pair of swords here so yeah, I am using these right now. I don't think they actually do anything different. They just look, you know, the the aesthetic is different, but I don't think they actually have poison coated blade or anything on them. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. But without further ado, because we've been trying to get to this mission for like two episodes now, we're going to talk to Yuna about getting to Taka. Taka's counting on us. I love the kid, but this is too dangerous. It will never work. We'll make it work. This the samurai? You can call me Lord Sucker. <gasps> Forgive me, my lord. I am Kenji, upstanding merchant, renowned sake brewer, and the best swindler on the island. That's why he's going to help us rescue my brother from Azamo Bay. That town's a fortress. If the Mongols took it, we'll need an army to penetrate the walls. Or a single delivery of sake. <laughs> It'll never work. Get your sake ready. We'll discuss the plan on the move. <laughs> Let's have a drink first. Talk this through. Now, Kenji. I like this guy. He's the comedic relief. When we get close to the town, you can hide in the cart with the sake. The Mongols won't search it? Not anymore. It's the same sake delivery I always sell them. They love my Dars. <laughs> Dars, Mughal, give a Dars now! You've been doing business with the enemy. I keep the Mongols drunk, and they let me keep my head. <laughs> oh, Seth, you sure you want to go through with this? Anything for Taka. We just hop in the cart then. Are we gonna go this way? How bad is the occupation huh. in Hazlomo Bay? A few people fought back. The ones left alive are prisoners or slaves. But you never saw Taka? No. But someone's been working the forge the past few days. Maybe it's your brother. How long have you two known each other? Since I was too young to know better. I was just starting to brew sake. Sold Yuna my first batch. Huh tasted like piss, but it was cheap. For a while, I tried to get Taka's help selling it. Turned out he was too soft. People told him sob stories, and he'd give them sake, free of charge. Mongols. Damn, you two better get in the cart. There aren't many. I can handle them. No, Jin. Taka is so close. Please. All right. Okay, so we don't want to draw any unwanted attention, it says, so I'm guessing there's going to be, like, some avoiding action in here. Get ready! They might search the car! You said they don't do that. The town gates? I've never seen them this far out here! Please! Oi. You, stop! Das! Das for Azamo Bay! Aha! Das! Hurry up! 
<laughs> Just a little farther. What was all that screaming? Doesn't matter. Keep it down. Is that what Taka's going through? Your brother's a skilled blacksmith. I don't understand. They won't treat him like that. You don't know that. Jeez. We're getting close. Quiet. This is where we part ways. Keep the Mongols drunk and distracted. I'll do my best. Stay safe, Kenji. And you, Lord Sakai. Taka's waiting for us. Let's go. Once we're done, I'll meet you at the crossroads behind town. We need a vantage point to scout ahead. This way. Remember, no alarms. We do this quietly. All the prisoners suffer. Got it. He called them invaders. Look, by the gate. How did they not see me up here? He's in charge. A slaver. Master. He's inspecting the prisoners like they're horses. He might lead us to Taka. Follow him. Okay. Is that it? Just gonna drop down the side here then? No. No, okay, we're not going that way. I'm not losing sight of him. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Oh shit. Try to run. Let's go. <gasps> Dude, this is so cool. Jeez. Move, Yuna. <laughs> She's got better hops than he does. Dude, the screaming in the background. Jeez. It's very unsettling. Ah! Crouch, Jin. Crouch. Thank you. What is his problem? Your blacksmith, Taka. His work is shoddy. I think he's sabotaging you. Uh -oh. I know it. Taka's here. He is only blacksmith. No, I'm a blacksmith too. And I'll do much better work. I cannot feed too. I get rid of him. But be ready to prove yourself. That bastard. He'll kill Taka. We gotta get a jump on him.
crap, I'm on the ground. Do not want to be on the ground. Get off the ground, Jin. Look, it's full of Mongols. We can't lose the slaver if he reaches Taka first. Stay close, you know. I'll find a way through. Taka. I mean, not Jin. Climb it. Thank you. Okay, so we gotta keep up with the soul. Hello. Drop down this way. And move through here. Ooh, there's a lot more people than I thought. Like a time constraint, are we? The slaver. Can't let him get away. I'm gonna go through here. Whoa. Can I please get on a roof? I would feel much better if I was able to do that. It oh, work. Please. I need to rest. It's Taka. Please! <laughs> nice. You know, Taka! What did they do to you? You're safe now. We need to move. We can't. They'll catch us, just like the others. This is Lord Sakai. He'll protect us. I need you to trust me, Tucker. I need your help. I'll try, my lord. Are we gonna have like a protecting mission now? Nearby. Then that's where we break out. Oh shit. They found the slaver. They'll kill us. We need to hide. No, keep moving. We can climb those crates. Where are we going? Kenji's waiting for us at a crossroads. Kenji's with you? If he made it out alive. Meet up with Kenji at the crossroads? Is that just down the road here? I'm guessing. Am I going the right way? Oh shit. I'm not doing a standoff against all them. <laughs> Jeez, man. They were wanting to go fight. Okay, it is this way. Just want to make sure I was going to... Can I get my horse? I can't. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Come on. Oh, they're going that way. Okay. Dude, they're everywhere. This looks like a crossroads right here, but Kenji is not here. Okay, we still gotta go this way. Oh, there we go. Horses, they're coming for us. Get in the tall grass and stay down. It's Kenji. 
Kaka! You made it! Were you followed? No, but we can't go back to my place. It's crawling <clears throat> with Mongols. We should go. We have to put some distance between us and Azamo Bay. Get on my horse. What a good horse. Haven't seen a Mongol since dawn. I think we're clear. We need to figure out where to go next. There's a place up ahead where you can see most of Izahara. Everyone all right? I could use a drink and some sleep. I can help with one of those. <laughs> Taka, you've been quiet. First time in days, I haven't felt like I was about to die. My lord, I am grateful. But how do you know Kenji and my sister? I owe Yuna my life. <laughs> we have something in common. So is he going to make my grappling hook at some point? Hopefully pretty soon. Because that's like the only thing I need right now. That's kind of holding me back that I don't have. I'm not built for riding all night. Komatsu is just over that ridge. They have a forge. One of the best on the island. Good place to make tools. Maybe something to get gin over the walls of Castle Canada. What do you say, Taka? My lord, I'll do anything to repay you for freeing me. Thank you. Taka, Kenji, get some rest. We can't stay here long. How are you doing? I have my brother back. He's shaken up. Can you get him the Komatsu in one piece? With food and rest, he'll be fine. Your brother wasn't the only prisoner in Azamo Bay. You're going to save them. And make their captors suffer. Good. Word for Komatsu Forge. I'll join you when I can. Jin. Thank you. Yay! I was so close. Could have used another technique point. All right. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, there's a hot spring right there. Can we get down somehow right here? Maybe? Yeah, it looks like it. Can be careful. Okay, now which way do I go? Oh, this way. Ooh, I thought that killed me. <clears throat> I'm gonna go heal up in the hot springs. Man, that looks relaxing. And then, wait, hang on. So we are here. Uh, is that Taka? Who's that? A Kenji to Okay, it's Kenji. Here's touch. Unfinished business. So when do I actually get my grappling hook? Oh. Right there. Okay, so as soon as I soak in this hot springs... We'll go. Actually, we'll do the Heavenly Strike first, and then we'll go uh, get Taka's quest. Yeah. So let's. Whoops, I'm just dump, jumping in here. I have to push a button to rest. Let's see. Well, I reflected. Last time I did, I reflected on his father's death, so we're gonna reflect on his favorite foods this time. 
When the Mongols are gone, I'm going to stuff myself with chinelo pears, fresh tuna, and sweet seaweed from Azam. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Okay, so now let's see. I'm gonna go for the heavenly strike here, which is right that way in front of me. I just gotta find a way down. There's a car in the background, guys. I apologize if you can hear that. Don't really know how loud it is. I'm get a horse. His head is in the tree. What the heck? All right, Kage, let's go. Ooh. Are you coming? But first. <laughs> Not today, sir. determines if I kill them or not. Like why does why do they sometimes have to still be alive? Kage. Where are you my friend? Kage! Kage, come on! <laughs> Had to call him twice. <clears throat> okay. Make sure we're still going the right direction here, and indeed we are. <laughs> Is I think so. I'm my main goal right now is so I'm really liking the stance progress here. Oh shit! Okay. Those like small shield guys are so tough. They have a like, a multi spear attack. It's annoying. Okay. But I do get I do have two technique points. So let's see. Perfect pairs just cover a small amount of health. I do like that. <clears throat> Carry unbuckable spear attacks. I'm honestly might. Yeah, let's do that one be just because of those guys. It's freaking annoying. Um, 
Let's see. I was looking at some of the stance stuff. Like, this is what I like the most, I think, about the game right now, is the different stances and the different, you know, combat opportunities they offer. So I'm trying to kill as many leaders as possible, but I don't want to do it all at once. Just debating on what I want. What can I get here right now? Oh, that requires two technique points. Uh -huh. Okay, what's this? Ooh, standoff streak. I like that. We're gonna get that. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Cool. So we're going this away. Let's go. I really love all the encounters that you have just out in the in the wild. What is this place? Rushing water crossing. Oh, it's Mongol territory. Okay. We'll come back there later. Show me your skill. Oh shit. This is not a good idea. Okay, after you want to stand off additional enemies, we'll rush you, wait until the charging enemy swings a weapon, then attack. Alright, cool. Bro. That's so cool. The arrow parrying ability. You can't hurt me now. Nice. Is anybody still alive? Anybody that needs me to end their suffering? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Cool. Get my horse. Here. Let's go. Yeah, it's like little encounters like that are so cool. Because I'm comparing this game a lot to Sekiro, which I've played. I haven't beat, but I've played. Um, and I personally, I like this better just because I like Sekiro, but I don't like all the like fantasy stuff about it. But this, like, this game is actually, like, you pick what you want to be, like, you either are, a, like, stealthy assassin or you're, like, a standoffish samurai. And I just, I really like that about this game. And it's, the combat is much more, I don't want to say it's more technique-focused than Sekiro, because Sekiro is pretty technique-focused. But this is, it's like, there's so much more depth to the combat, I guess. And I really, really like it. Aha! Susano, protect me. Why is this guy surrounded by dead bodies? That's very sus. Who killed these people? A fearsome warrior. He demanded I tell him the tale of Shigenori's heavenly strike. When he didn't hear the answers he sought, he flew into a rage and butchered them. What did he want to know? I am not sure, my lord. Tell me the story. I need to know Whoa. what he's up. <laughs> the heck is that? When Tsushima was first settled, 
A strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction, moving too quickly to be stopped. The people knew only one man who could possibly stand against the lightning beasts. Shigenori, the fastest swordsman in all of Tsushima. Shigenori never lost a duel. With years of practice, he had created the Heavenly Strike, an attack that struck quicker than the eye could follow. Shigenori lured the creatures to a desolate beach in Komatsu, where the sand would slow their movement. Their clash turned the sand to ash and bleached the leaves of trees white. Shigenori's heavenly strike cut through them faster than they could move. As the final beast fell, the storm cleared and Tsushima was safe again. Shigenori began a life of seclusion. Few students found him, and only the bravest and most skilled proved worthy of learning the heavenly strike. When a storm approaches, a sword is placed at Shigenori's rest by a student who knows of its location to ward off attacks from beasts of nature. The murderer wishes to learn Shigenori's heavenly strike. It sounds dangerous in the wrong hands. Which way did he go? A woman fled toward a nearby bridge. He chased her. He'll answer for what he did here. Okay. So, are we learning like a lightning based sword strike? Because that'd be pretty cool. Search for the bridge. Whoa! My bad. Don't know why I thought triangle was the action button there. Yeah, that looks like the bridge up there. That's the bridge the musician mentioned. Someone weeping. Where? Under the bridge, I bet. Aha! My lord, so many slaughtered. I want to talk with you. <laughs> Did you see the man who killed them? I know who he is. Yasuhira Koga. I've heard the name. He fought for the Yarikawa clan. Would you recognize him? I'll never forget that leering face. Follow me. Perhaps I can pick up his trail on the other side of the bridge. Horse tracks. Yasuhira was in a hurry. Okay. Follow Yasuhira's horse what tracks. What more do you know of Yasuhira Koga? Only that he was a retainer for the Yarikawa clan years ago. After the rebellion was crushed, the clan was dissolved and retainers dismissed. Rumor says he left Tsushima, but when the Mongols attacked, he returned. From where? I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. He cannot be allowed to live after what he's done. Is that blood or is that just leaves? I think it's just leaves and dirt. What if he knows the heavenly strike and I have to like learn how to defend it? That'd be pretty insane. Guessing he went yeah, he went this way. Up ahead, they're constructing a roadblock. Mongols, hide yourself. We're gonna stand Who up. Who will face me first? Lady, what are you doing? Oh, no. Get out of here. See that? Screw it, I'm not. We're just gonna go right in. Actually, never mind, they still don't see him here. So, yeah, we're just gonna. Keep being stealthy. Let's 
some supplies. Can I get this guy? I can. Awesome. <laughs> Goodbye. Dude is having a stroke over there. There we go. All better. Yasuhira Koga anywhere. We're pursuing a man named Yasuhira Koga. He just left. He's been staying in the watchtower. Working with the Mongols? Yes. But last night they argued. Only made out one word. Chigenori. I'll search the watchtower. Find somewhere safe before more Mongols come. Okay. Is there anything in this cage that warrants me opening it? It doesn't look like it, but I'm going to do it anyway. D oh, it was a lock. It's a big lock. What has Yasuhira been doing? A dueling ring. He's looking for it. Hmm. White leaves, like those bleached by lightning in the tail. The Mongols have their own version of Shigenori's tale. Maybe he wanted to compare it to the musician's version. Interesting. Wait, what's up here? Can I exit the ladder from the side here? Is that a thing? Oh, I can. Huh. I jump back on. Bro. That's a whole nother level right there. <laughs> Okay, let's go talk to the lady here, and go learn this heavenly strike. Yasuhira is looking for someone who can teach him Shigenori's heavenly strike. The white leaves. There are trees like that not far from here. That's where he went. You've helped enough. Get to safety with the others. Thank you, my lord. I hope you punish that monster. Alright. Need to find white leafed trees. Look for the white leafed tree. Is this direction? Alright, we're gonna head. Ah, right there. Okay, I see it. I'm gonna duel on top of that mountain. Be pretty dope. Plum Blossom Shrine. Huh. Wait, do I have to go all the way to the top? These tour gates lead to the Plum Blossom Shrine Sanctuary of Kagusuchi. Kami of Fire. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, now I have to actually look for the tree. Okay. It was just leading me to the search area. Whoa. What's going on here? So I can- oh. Okay, here we go. It's really cool, they don't actually like teach you the climbing mechanic really, they just kind of let you figure it out. Which is actually really cool. I like that way of doing it. Oh, by the way, guys, if you notice the headband, I made a haiku, and this is the uh, headband of death that I got from it. That's what it's called. Ooh. 
I make that jump? Nope. Oh, I can poke it. Am I gonna fight him up here? Ooh, there's the tree. White leaves. Has to be the place. Got a survey. I'm gonna honor the shrine first, of course. Kagusuchi. Okay. Deal bonus damage while at 50% health or less. That is perfect. Wait. I'm gonna put that one there too. Cool. So now when I'm close to dying, I'll hurt people more. Because I feel like I'm gonna be at 50% health and lower a lot. <laughs> I could climb up here? What? Whatever. Okay. We're gonna survey. Oh, damn, there's a lot of trees. There it is. What? White leaves. Like those bleached by lightning in the tail. It's more than myth. Okay. Someone's being tortured. Ow. Planning on a perfect parry there, but that's cool. I guess I should throw my kunai more because, like, everybody drops them. Oh shit. Stop! I told you everything I know! Okay, we're gonna sneak around the side here. I'm exhausted! Oh, we're gonna sneak in right here. Yeah. Stop! I told him everything I know! Okay. His immediate attacker is neutralized. Now, we're gonna get the rest. Is this guy gonna see me when I crawl out? It's quite possible. Negium Harsinka! Oh. Okay, another one bites the dust. 
Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. And goodbye. Nice. Piece of cake, man. Alright, let's get in here. I'm here! I know, I saved you. Was a man named Yasuhira with these Mongols. Mm. He wanted to learn the heavenly strike from my grandfather. What? And took him away. Your grandfather's in danger. Where did they go? His old training ground. A dueling ring on the Komatsu coast. Please, save him. Oh shit, there's a storm. <laughs> uh, I need my horse. Quick. Quickly, Kage, get out of the fire. What's wrong with you? Uh. So here I cannot learn the heavenly strike. Epic battle on the coast. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this is intense. Okay. Someone cut that tree down in order to cross. Let's go. Yes, he brought Mongols with him. Come here and fight. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Okay, he's up there. That must be Shigenori's dueling ring. Oh, what has Yasuhira been doing? Poor man. Killed by Yasuhira. Blade has seen many tools. Damn, look at all the swords. Footprints. Still fresh. Oh. He knows it. He knows it. I'm gonna have to Yasuhira defend it. Yasuhira Kuga. The butcher of the rebellion. Time hasn't changed you. You were a child when Yarikawa burned, boy. For 15 years, 
I dreamed of cutting Lord Shimura to the bone. You won't live long enough to face him. The old man taught me the legendary attack before I killed him. Let me show you. I knew it. Damn it. What are you waiting for, boy? Not waiting. Studying. Learning. No! No! Ha! Lord Shimura should have taught you better. Damn it. He's not that hard, it's just... Yeah, his attacks are really fast. Ugh. Whoa! Waiting for boy. Not waiting. Study. Learning. Bury the man killed by Yasuhira. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. You deserve greater respect than this. I promise I'll use Shigenori's technique to protect Tsushima against all who would harm it. Nice. Are you serious right now? Heavenly Falcon. Struck without warning like the Hunter of the Skies. Oh, it's a sword. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. I don't think I'm gonna be putting that on just cause I don't like the, the frills, but it's cool. Don't get me wrong. So how do I use that? Cause I'm sure I can't just like be doing heavenly strikes everywhere. I'm guessing there's like a, a charge up or does it cost a better cost resolve that's probably what it does let me see here heavy strike yeah uses one resolve okay okay cool nice all right let's see here so we, where are we at? Bleh. English. So we're right near the Hammer and Forge. Cool. 
cool, cool, cool. What's this one here? Tadayori's armor. Alright guys, I think we'll pick up next time doing the hammer and forge quest because I really, really, really want to get uh, the freaking grappling hook. That's all I want. So, yeah, with that, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.